Hey everyone, welcome to 5 Minute Fridays where we take 5 minutes to close out our week in the Word of God. And today is Halloween Eve. And Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. It's one of my favorite times of year. I love fall, I love October, I love football, and I love Halloween. It is all so great. It is so fun. I love pumpkins, all right? And if you saw, um, we put out a chapel a little earlier on. We talked about how you're God's pumpkin. But today we're going to talk about a different aspect of Halloween and how it can help us see how awesome our God is, how God has taken on who we are, and how we no longer have to try to figure out what our identity is. Because on Halloween, what do you get to do? You know, you get to put on a costume. You get to pretend to be something else. Maybe something great. You know, I am a big fan of Batman. I wear this costume a lot, all right? I've had it for several years. It is a ton of fun. Love it. Love pretending to be Batman. And some people think I'm the real Batman, so that's exciting too. But no matter what it is on Halloween, we get to pretend to be something we're not. But what happens after Halloween? What happens when you get home from trick-or-treating? What happens when maybe it's time to get to bed if it's your first Halloween and you're just so excited about your costume? Well, you take it off. You shed this, this false identity and you become who you really are. And as I was thinking about that, as I was thinking about how on, on Halloween we take off this, this fake sense of identity and become our true selves, it got me thinking to 2 Corinthians 5.17. Take a look. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone. A new life has begun. You see, at the end of Halloween, at the end of pretending to be something great, at the end of, for me, pretending to be Batman, you know, I got to take off my mask. I got to take off these, um, these really tight-fitting clothing, all right? Because this is obviously really me. None of it is padding. And, and I got I to gotta shed this false identity of what maybe I, I think I want to be and instead go back to being who God created me to be. And in baptism, in, in Christ taking over our lives, the same sort of thing is happening. Our old self, our false identity, it's taken off. And we become who we were originally intended to be. You see, in this verse, it says a new life begins. But if you go back to creation, that new life is actually the original life we were supposed to live. A perfect life, glorifying God, living for God, being followers of the one who created us. And as our identity is there, all the things this world throws at us don't, don't seem to matter as much. Because as you take off your Halloween costume and you, you spend the weekend hopefully enjoying, Monday, you're probably going back to work. Monday, you're probably going to have to go hear a lot about this election and all this sort of junk that's coming along with it. You have to go back to maybe even feeling like you have to pretend you're something else so that the world will accept you. But what I want to encourage you with today is that you don't have to try to create a false persona. You don't have to try to make yourself into something you're not. Because in Christ, you are a new creation, created to be exactly who you are, where you are, when you are, to do His work, to expand His kingdom, and to be a light to all the world. Because Christ is in you, your old life is gone. You no longer have to identify with what this world sees as best. You can instead identify with the one who is perfect and has created you and loves you more than anything else. So this Halloween, put on your fake persona. Become who you maybe think you want to be. But after you take it off, remember, you're not defined by this world. You're defined by Christ and what he has done in you. This is 5-Minute Fridays where we take five minutes to close out our week in the Word of God. We'll catch you next time.